Ladies and gentlemen, this is Humphrey. All right, Humphrey, here's your opportunity to sell yourself to the world. Show how awesome you are. Now, as you can see here, Humphrey's favorite favorite activity is the face rub. You can do it for hours and hours and hours. You can see that I've got a cat here and Humphrey doesn't mind that at all. He's very friendly. He doesn't seem to like being picked up too much, but he's more than willing to stop by wherever I'm sitting for a face rub. Yep, there's Humphrey. All right, let's see him in action. It's about 11.30 at night and he's in a somewhat active phase. Very curious as I've been rearranging the furniture lately and he doesn't quite know what to make of it. It's a whole new world. You can see here there's some toys, and apple wood for him to chew on. More toys. He sometimes he plays with this. Loves the boxes. More boxes the better. It's a litter area. This is kind of his uh little personal space. He doesn't spend much time here. He kind of eats and drinks and goes to the washroom here. And here's his hay. Big bale of hay for him. This is about uh, oh four months of hay usage and there's still about probably 90 percent of the hay left. This is a uh, bottle from Planet Organic called Odor Away. It's a natural, uses enzymes to uh, basically I just, whenever I see him pee in the litter, I add a couple of, couple of sprays of this and then uh, top it up with, uh, with some shredded newspaper here. Some, like some, not the glossy stuff, but the, uh, the regular newspaper. And once in a while he'll eat up some newspaper, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. And uh, yeah, and you can see it just keep on topping up the litter, mostly when he pees. And uh, eventually, once it gets full, I just am using the desk from a desk from a drawer here. But you can use uh, any sort of container that looks similar as a litter box. And uh, just every couple weeks, flip around the bag and toss it out. It's great compost. And uh, there's Humphrey there. Oh, what else is there? Uh, now I've heard that they're supposed to uh, trim their nails, but we've got carpets here, and because he's not in a cage, and he seems to like to run around in the carpet, I'm thinking that should hand that should keep him all right for for the foreseeable future. It's been several months, and I haven't hasn't I don't think there's been an issue as far as I know. It's in the wild, they're not going to get their nails trimmed, and they run around and hang on to things, and so on and so forth, and that seems to work out pretty good for them. So, Humphrey's not a cage rabbit, he's a house rabbit, and, uh, yeah, he's a very, very content to kind of hop around, and sometimes he runs around, and, uh, what else? Yeah, he likes to, and then his chill out area is, is where he does most of his sleeping is, uh, is under my bed in the bedroom. And I've got a couple of folded cardboard boxes there he just likes to hang out on. Once in a while he'll give it a few scratches. But he's pretty, uh, pretty much a chill rabbit. Not a lot of maintenance or anything required, just uh, the hay there. And uh, I've also got some uh, some pellets for basically... Uh, calories 
and I give them uh, pears and apples and uh, you know he loves fruit banana peels greens I give him greens uh, sometimes from the garden sometimes store-bought kale and red red lead red leaf lettuce so you know you might be looking at a couple bucks a week for that but any any vegetable scraps he loves the brassicas it seems cauliflower broccoli uh, and the collards and the kale um, once in a while he'll go for the parsley or cilantro but it seems to be uh, once not not as often and the other greens he seems to sometimes take and sometimes not in other words the spinach and the uh, some of the types of the Chinese greens and things like that it's kind of hit and miss um, but the red leaf lettuce I like that because it's got a little more nutrients than the regular lettuce and never iceberg lettuce that's a waste of waste of time um, and the, yeah the brassicas the kale and the broccoli so you know but other than that he hops around and he can he can hop up uh, once in a while he'll hop up on this uh, this couch so it's uh, or on this recliner so you know he can hop up a foot or two a couple feet I'd say you know and uh, what else here yeah you can see the uh, there's some carpets laid down I have a speaker going out to my kitchen and just uh, they they does like to uh, does like to chew the cords if there's cords in the way so. It's, something to keep in mind you can see my desk underneath I've rabbit proofed the uh, the area just kind of put some boxes and behind behind the desk there's a I don't know if you can see it maybe not but there's essentially an insane jungle of cords but he doesn't he doesn't have access to that and and as long as the cords aren't laying in his path um, he's happy to uh, let them be yeah, aside from that, uh, I found that the best thing is to not ever just contain him in his uh, uh, little area. In other words, not to box him in for, for hours at a time. He, he seems to like to do a little bit of pea spraying for revenge. And, and that, that only happened the first couple of days. And never, uh, it's rarely, really happened since. Um, I can't say it's never happened, but it's never been an issue anyways. It's, he hasn't, you know, hasn't, like, ever, you know, jumped on the bed and, and peed or anything like that. It's been mostly uh, spraying the, the hard services, like the mirror I have here, for example, or, um, you know, the side, uh, side of that there, that sort of thing. And, and it seems to be just uh, the first few days when he came here and he was uh, broken in, uh, getting used to the area. And um, I would keep him contained here at night, as the instructions of the previous owner said that I should do. But uh, turns out that Humphrey is no problem when uh, when he uh, is allowed to roam free in the house. And one good note to have as well is the front door there, I can leave that door totally open and Humphrey has no interest in running outside. So he's a very, you know, he seems to just like the indoor life right now. He could probably be convinced to go outside, I'm sure, but uh, it's not as if uh, he's just looking to escape. Like uh, I've had pets in the past where it was a pain in the butt to try to open the door um, for fear that they would escape. And no, Humphrey's cool with it. You can see he loves his hay. You know he loves his hay. That's kind of the mainstay of the roughage. He'll uh, he'll keep uh, he'll keep chewing the hay. That's you know he's very particular about his hay as well. He might uh, you know he likes the long strands, the thick strands, and uh, he'll just dump over what's not uh, what's not cool with them. And I just end up using that for litter. I've learned that uh, trying to refill the hay bowl with uh, hay that he's already tossed out isn't gonna isn't gonna win me any friends when it comes to Humphrey. Okay, well, I think I've said enough here, and uh, you've got a good impression of Humphrey, and uh, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe what you think of him is, uh, is hopefully a positive thing. I know I, he's, uh, he's a really wonderful uh, aspect of my life. Okay, over and out.